As VDS is increased above VGS minus VT in our end MOSFET, we're asked which of the following increases. So we have five options here, only one is correct. So when we look at the voltage across the channel, the voltage itself is going to stay the same. So this is not an answer. We're asked about the length of the channel. Well, the length of the channel is going to stay the same as well. Um, so those aren't going to change. We are asked the width of the depletion region surrounding the drain at our PN junction. Does this increase? Well, the width of our depletion region, because of the body effect, threshold voltage at the drained end of the transistor is increased. And so this is a correct answer. I'm just going to draw it in a more appealing color, green, so we know we did it correctly. So this is a pretty good answer from here. It's obviously not all of these, and the width of the depletion region surrounding the source PN junction is not going to be true, since at the source is at its lowest, it's not going to be um, increased at right there. So the question is asking us as VDS is increased above VGS minus VT, which would be this part right here. So our VEFF, that's why I've included this right here. For our end MOSFET, which of the following increases? We can see that this is an end MOSFET, it's in saturation. Once you beat come above here, it's in saturation. VGS, the gate source, it's constant. So voltage cross channel, it's constant. Um, length of the channel doesn't change. The width of the depletion region surrounding the drain does increase though.